hello 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 youtube family welcome and welcome back to freeze fragrance finds i am the lady of your house lady free your gourmand guru and welcome to day 14 of 25 days of christmas guys in today's video i will be reviewing cacao noisette by kai's perfumes so if that sounds like something you're interested in do please continue to watch guys but before we get into today's video i would love for you to take a moment to like comment subscribe as well as turn on those post notifications so you won't miss any of my uploads don't you dare miss out let's get into today's video <laughs> hey girl hey hey boy hey what's up what's up what's up it's your girl lady free in the house your gourmand guru and as you heard today we are reviewing cacao noisette by kai's perfumes yes guys cacao noisette by kai's perfumes um product shot let's roll the product shot <laughs> this is the bottle that we have here this is a 50 ml bottle and the bottles come in at $85 that's relatively inexpensive we'll talk about value in a moment um I do think that the perfumer could have did a better job of designing the bottle they are very <sighs> They're not stunning. They, you know, they, to me, they lack a bit of quality in the design of the bottle. However, this is an indie house. So I do understand that. And it does make sense. You got to get it in where you fit in it. Well, you got to get it in where you fit in. However, this brand is, has, uh, gained substantial popularity, uh, from Lucky Scent. I have seen several people reviewing the house. So, um, you know, hopefully they will upgrade their bottles soon and very soon. They gonna come see the king. Okay, so there's one lady behind all of the Kai's fragrances, and that is Terry Bozo. And this particular um, this particular fragrance was launched in 2020, um, and it is a chocolatey, hazelnutty type of scent, vanilla esque type of scent, but mainly from the um, mainly from the perfume from the fragrance. You, it smells like Nutella. I mean, it smells like Nutella. So, baby, if you want to smell like Nutella, it's more chocolatey. It's more, excuse me, it's more hazelnutty than chocolatey to me. But you do get chocolate, a lot of chocolate in there. But the main note that I get at the top, the one, the notes, the note that is really standing up is the hazelnut. And you definitely get that chocolatey, that chocolate. You definitely get that chocolate. What is wrong with me today? You definitely get that chocolate note very prominent as well. As we know, Nutella is a chocolate hazelnut dessert or chocolate hazelnut, you know, is it a dessert or spread? So that's this is exactly what it smells like. It really isn't a whole, whole lot to this perfume. Yes, I really like it. I feel like, of course, this is a very, very gourmand, a very sweet, a very dense, chocolatey, very present scent. So for those reasons, I do feel like this, um, the Cacao Noisette, it will be better suited for definitely colder weather. The colder, the better. I do not ever see myself wanting to wear this or reaching for this during any hotter, during 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 any month that is hot like uh once winter has transpired it's a wrap this fragrance is going to be put up um because it is very dense it is very nutty it's very chocolate it is very thick it smells like if you heat up nutella i don't know how they capture the essence of a melted nutella but that is exactly what i get um from the fragrance now during the colder months i do feel like you can wear it during the day during the night um however my preference would be to wear this more during the daytime you can get away with it at nighttime but like nighttime going to bed not nighttime date night you understand what i'm saying because it's, it's a hazelnut scent you know what i mean it's a nutella-esque scent so i don't see me wanting to be sexy or dressing up and then spraying Nutella on my body. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I'm your grandma and girl. Well, you know I love to smell like food. You know I love all the foods. But trying to be sexy or giving off sexiness, this fragrance does not give off sex. 
does not give off sexiness. It is not juvenile. However, it is not sophisticated. It is not one that gives off that type of vibe or appeal. Again, I said this is, it's not, it's not the most dense, it's not the most dense, it's not the most dense fragrance. Um, I have come across more gourmands that are more dense than that. But because it is super sweet, I will classify it as a dense fragrance. It's not light. It's not airy. It's not uh, It's not fluffy. I will say that this is, to me, a more feminine scent. I can see a man getting away with it because it is nutty. However, I don't know if I want my man to smell like Nutella. That sweet. I mean, just keeping it real. So as far as, so as, far as the performance, um, this is my first impression of this fragrance i've only worn it out maybe one time i did wear it today and um i wore it for a couple of hours it is very present i did smell it a lot like it wasn't like i was catching whiffs and wafts of it no i smelt it like i didn't have to like put my nose in my bosom or put my hand to my um nose i smelt it very prominently so i can say this is a very present scent i cannot speak to the sillage of it because i don't know if anyone else smelt me i really can't speak to the performance of the fragrance because i did not wear it for a long time i just ran out and came back so i can't say for the three hours that i was out I smelled myself strongly and very presently that entire three hours. I will give it a full wear and come back and give you a full review on the fragrance. But for now, I can I feel like I can say that it has moderate sillage and moderate performance. Now, to blind buy or not to blind buy. I will say this is not a safe blind buy. You have to be in love with chocolate fragrances you have to be a in love with gourmand for literal gourmand fragrances you have to want to smell just like food in order for this fragrance to be appealing to you so for those reasons i would say no do not go blind by this fragrance maybe purchase something from lucky scent and then you know how lucky scent gives you free samples go ahead and put that in the, the box the description box where it says you know what um fragrances or what free samples you want go ahead and put that one in the <laughs> as one of your free samples and sample it to see if you like it because it smells like literal nutella okay now let me give you the official notes i think i was skipping over that the notes in cacao noisette are cacao hazelnut caramel tahitian vanilla and musk so this is a very simple fragrance it does not have a lot of notes so i would say that the note again the note structure is very simple uh which makes this fragrance very linear you're going to smell like nutella from the time you spray it to the time you stop smelling it i was trying to think of the word um anyway you're going to smell like nutella from the time you spray this fragrance to the, until the time it dries down and you stop smelling this fragrance. It's very linear. It's not complex. Um, it doesn't have much depth to it. What you smell is what you get, okay? So, I can say that this smells like that or that smells like this. So, in this particular portion, I normally go over what this fragrance reminds me of like if you like this type of fragrance then you will like this i will say if you like chocolate scents i will say if you like chocolate scents you would like cacao noise i will say if you like scents like dolce diablo although it doesn't smell anything like it i feel like you would like that i feel like if you have some i don't have many nutty fragrances in my um collection because i'm not a big nutty girl so i like to smell like food nuts is not something that is as high on the list for me to smell like but i will say if you have leg or mund you will definitely like that now i do have a sample of leg or mund i have leg or mund on this hand here and i will say that they are similar they don't smell alike or exactly alike what i can say the differences between the leg or mund and the cacao norzette is the leg or mund is has a little bit more depth it's a little bit more um 
it's not quite as linear of a scent. It has a little bit more depth. It's a little bit more mature. It's a little bit more grown. It's a little bit more, it's not still not sexy, but it is a little bit more sophisticated if I can attribute that word to this type of um, scent or this type of smell, um, I also feel like the Le Gourmand is more chocolatey or so. The uh, Le Gourmand doesn't smell as much of hazelnut as the um, Cacao Norzette. I will say the quality of the ingredients in the Le Gourmand may be a little bit more be better, maybe a little, little more stellar. Than the opposing than the opposer. Um, I will also say that um, again, it doesn't smell as much like hazelnut. The uh, chocolate is more of a milk chocolate. It's more of a milky, milky or creamier scent. It smells like a um, freshly baked chocolate chip with a sprinkle, maybe with or drizzled with a little bit of Nutella on top. That is what I'm getting from. The Le Gourmand is more of a chocolate scent, whereas the Nutella is more of a hazelnut scent, which, I mean, a chocolate hazelnut spread scent, like, it smells, it smells like Nutella, but the chocolate isn't as prominent as it is in um, the Le Gourmand, and the hazelnut stands up a bit more than the chocolate in the Cacao Noisette. Say, however, if I feel like if you like the Le Gourmand, you will like the cacao noise. If you like the Buon Talenti um, by Parfum and Frenzy, I feel like you'll like the cacao noise. So my overall rating of this fragrance, um, being that this is pretty much my initial impression, I will give it a strong eight and a half, maybe nine out of ten. I would would like for the I do feel like the ingredients could have been a little bit more quality and I do wish the fragrance had a bit more depth to it. It wasn't just as linear as it is. Maybe add um, some oud or something that's a little bit more heavier in the base to um, uh, go ahead and um, anchor the scent. So that is why I'm taking away a point or so for that, as well as I will like a little bit more milkiness in the fragrance rather than it being so nutty. However, I do very much enjoy it. I do very much like it. I give it a nine. Did I say nine? Right? Eight and a half or nine out of ten. So this is a fragrance that I do very, very, very much enjoy and very, very much like. We're going to give it a full wear to see the longevity and the projection, and then that rating may even go up after that. So... So let's talk value. Do I feel like the Cacao Noisette is worth its $85 price tag? My initial response was going to be no. For wearing it, judging by the bottle, alone, solely, <laughs> solely judging by the bottle, I felt like it was going to be more of a body spray. However, comma, after wearing the fragrance, for the three hours that I did wear the fragrance and, and how present it was and how much I smelled it on myself, I will say it is worth its $85 price tag. Um... I will say it's worth its $85 price tag. Um, I can't speak any more to that again because I only wore it for three hours, but yes. However, I will say that I will be more <laughs> inclined to pay the $85, which isn't a lot. It's a very inexpensive fragrance compared to most fragrances today. I would be more inclined to pay the $85 given the, uh, given a better quality bottle. However, the juice inside of the bottle is quality. That is the cacao, cacao noisette. So, in review, cacao noisette. Very good fragrance. Smells like um, Nutella. Um, as far as when I wore it, it was very present. I cannot speak to the to the longevity of it, but the three hours that I had that I did have it on, it was very present. I smelled it the whole time. It wasn't like I was getting Wilson Waff. No, I smelled it. It was there. So, oh, I also didn't show y'all the juice. It is a very dark juice. So, you know, I do feel like that once I gave it a full wear, that it's going to be a long lasting scent. But as of right now, I gave it moderate both, moderate in projection and moderate in longevity. I do feel like this is a straight up and down winter scent, fall winter scent. No ifs and buts about it. I do feel like this is a, a feminine fragrance. However, a man might be able to pull it off because of the nuttiness. However, I don't want my man smelling like Nutella. So, um, did I miss anything? This is a bit of bit more of a denser fragrance. It is not light. It is not airy. 
I give it a strong eight and a half, nine out of ten. And this does put me in the mind of Lego or Mun. If you like sense like Lego or Mun, if you like sense like uh, Boo on Talenti, if you like sense like um, Chocolate Queen, even, I feel like you will like, love, and adore the Cacao Noise Zet by Kai's Perfumes. So yes, guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Please, please, please take a moment just to like it. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel while you're liking. And also get caught up with my other videos. I am putting them, literally, I have, I'm going to give y'all 25 videos. I promise myself and I promise you guys that every single day I'm going to upload a video. And I'm going to remain true to that promise. So check out my other videos and then get caught up. Also, make sure you join me for tomorrow's video. I will also be reviewing another fragrance. Um, any, anything else I need to discuss with you guys? No, I think that's pretty much it. Leave it in the comment section if you feel like you want to try the Kai's perfume or which other um, which other fragrance from Kai's perfume that you would like to try. And I think that's it. If there's nothing, if there is nothing else, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching. Peace.